what a great way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's weird when the the distance from where you are to where you need to be and, and, the, and the clapping stops. It's kind of a weird silence. So thank you for continuing to clap. <laughs>
good, buddy? All right. <laughs> All right. Here's a song entitled Getaway Car. <laughs> somebody for a really long time there's uh, there's always little things that drive you absolutely crazy about each other like just stupid stuff like Kiefer leaves the tube off the toothpaste all the time y'all see y'all know what I'm talking about and then like the cabinet doors in the kitchen he always leaves them open so I have to go around behind him it's not just one cabinet door it's like he goes in for a bowl he goes in for a plate. He leaves both doors open and the drawers where the spoons are. I'm saving energy. I'm going to be back later. <laughs> it's called going green, Sean. So I heard. At least I know where the kitchen is, people. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know where the doghouse is, too. <laughs> I think I'm outnumbered today. <laughs> this is called As Bad As 
as it gets. does that every once in a while. He'll do the Tom Cruise thing where he slides across the living room floor and he's on the way. My tidy whities <laughs> Where are you heading after you leave here? We are going to Jackson, California. I guess close to Sacramento, right? Nobody's ever heard of it. Perfect. I told you, they're all drunk. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? There's no other place besides San Diego. That's perfect with me. I love San Diego. It's, it's our, always beautiful here. One of our favorite places to go. Yeah. As far as you know. I do have to say, um, Kiefer and I started our radio tour back two years ago. And radio tour is where you go out and you introduce yourself to uh, country radio. And we started in San Diego. Our first, it was our first trip. It was... And I'm not, I swear I'm not just saying this because we're in San Diego, but it was my favorite conference room visit, radio station visit that we had, our whole radio tour. It was awesome. Sorry, you guys have a wonderful radio station. You're just kissing me now. I promise I'm not. Yeah. Tijuana's like right around the corner, isn't it? <laughs> I've got YouTube. I know what goes on there. Somebody said, where do we live? We um, on, a, on a 40-foot bus? Currently, yes. Tour bus. Um, we live just outside of Nashville, though. We have a place. We haven't seen it very much this last year. but Yeah, we, uh, we turned the HBO off. Turned our electricity off. <laughs> our light bill is about $12 a month. It's pretty nice, actually. I'd like to know how you met. Well, um, Sean was a dancer. <laughs> and not ballet, if you know what I'm doing about. <laughs> you always do that to no, me. No, actually, I was a dancer. <laughs> no, we met at this little place in Nashville called the Nashville Nightlife. And they were having a weekly contest there where you could get up and sing with the band. And, uh... We've literally been together ever since that night in 1996. We, we moved to Nashville the same week. We met like four days after we moved there. And we actually found out later that week that we moved in apartment complexes across the street from each other. Freaky. 
Stop but he was it. trying to tell us something, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. Well, let's sing a song. This song is one of the one of the three songs on the record that Sean and I did not write. Um, it's called Glass. It, it, it was a, when it was pitched to us. It was a it was a male vocal on it, and uh, we liked the song. We didn't. We weren't sure if it was for us, and then we turned it into a girl song, and um, Sean sang it, and it just made a whole lot more sense. And um, it, it could be a single at some point, we think. But uh, anyway, the song's called Glass. Baby, I got you. 
When I was a kid, I was you know, singing the top of my lungs all my favorite songs. You know, I was like, man, one day, one day someone's going to be singing our songs. So thank you guys so much. It's a dream come true. Thank you very much. so hard to believe when you smile and say to me are you gonna kiss me or not ever had said that long after that and I knew if I wanted this thing to last sooner or later I'd have to ask for your hand I took a chance bought a whip man and got down on one knee you smiled and said to me are you gonna kiss me or not You walk down the aisle, yes you did. But when the preacher man says, say I do, I did, and you did too. And I lifted that veil and saw your pretty smile. And I said, I love you, Sean. <laughs> Are you going to kiss me all night? Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on the lunch.